Regrettably, the religious freedom enjoyed by American citizens is rare in the world. Approximately 80 percent of the world's population live in countries where religious liberty is threatened, restricted, or even banned. And when I heard that number, I said, please go back and check it, because it can't possibly be correct. And sadly, it was, 80 percent. Today, with one clear voice, the United States of America calls upon the nations of the world to end religious persecution. <laughs> to stop the crimes against people of faith, release prisoners of conscience, repeal laws restricting freedom of religion and belief, protect the vulnerable, the defenseless, and the oppressed. America stands with believers in every country who ask only for the freedom to live according to the faith that is within their own hearts. We're standing up for almost 250 million Christians around the world who are persecuted for their faith. It is estimated that 11 Christians are killed every day for the following. I mean, just think of this. 11 Christians a day for following the teachings of Christ. Who would even think that's possible in this day and age? Who would think it's possible? On Easter Sunday this year, terrorists bombed Christian churches in Sri Lanka, killing hundreds of faithful worshipers. Who would believe this is even possible? These evil attacks are a wound on all humanity. We must all work together to protect communities of every faith. We're also urging every nation to increase the prosecution and punishment of crimes against religious communities. There can be no greater crime than that. This includes measures to prevent the intentional destruction of religious sites and relics.